Welcome back to Morning Rush. Our medical correspondent, Dr. Sujatha Reddy, joining us live this morning to answer your coronavirus questions. Good morning to you, Dr. Reddy. Good morning, Shiva. Our first question comes to us from Stacy. She says there seems to be so many various symptoms with COVID-19. How many strains of COVID-19 are known and why do some show no sign of fever? So when we talk about COVID-19, we're actually talking about this new coronavirus that came about several months ago, and there is only the one strain, but there are about six or seven other coronaviruses. But when we've been talking about COVID-19, this infection, there is only one strain. There is only one strain, yeah, because I've heard other doctors talk about that as well. Um, this is along the same lines here. Sherry writing, why check temperatures? A lot of people are asymptomatic yet contagious. These asymptomatic people would not have a temp and could still infect others. So the question is, wouldn't it be better for all to wear masks no matter what? And that's a valid point, and I think I missed part of the other question about the fever, and I think we can answer it here. Mm -hmm. So some people, as we know, have mild to no symptoms, the asymptomatic people, and some have a fever. It's kind of like why do some people get colds several times in the year and some people don't get colds very often? or people have different um, symptoms for each flu. And that's based on each individual's immune system. So some people will have a fever, some won't. Yeah. What we do know right now is that for the people who do have symptoms, that's when you're the most contagious. You mm. are contagious before, but not as bad as during symptoms. So while taking temperatures is not 100%, it is a way to eliminate those people that are highly contagious. Okay. And hopefully by the people that are asymptomatic or mildly sick, where you don't take their temperature or they don't mount a fever, yeah. they're in that mild category. The social distancing and your mask should help you protect yourself and them you know, from you if you're the one with the sickness. So the other part of this question is, wouldn't it be better for all to wear masks no matter what? Are you of that opinion that all should wear masks no matter what? I think at this point where we're at, just getting used to being out, I think it's a good idea. If nothing else, it reminds us of the world we, we're in right now, what we're dealing with. It's not going to hurt anything, but it should not give a false sense of security. Mm -hmm. I think keeping apart is best, but in the situations where maybe you can't, I think the mask is what is good. Now, remember, the mask really right now, the officials are recommending it to protect other people from you. I yes. know we all are viewing it as a mask protects us. Us, and it mm -hmm. does to some degree. But if everyone just takes care of their own person, it should help everybody else. And I've mentioned this before, and I do think it's a way to, you know, not get too crazy paranoid, but also just to think about what we're doing, what we're dealing with is just imagine everyone you meet could have the virus. Yeah. And if you think of it that way, you're going to really take the right precautions. Yeah. Be courteous. It's a courteous courtesy thing at this point. Another viewer asks, is six feet enough to protect you? Uh, really great question as well. And we've heard these things where the virus droplets have flown farther than six feet. Six yeah. feet is sort of the average, and I think, where you get the bulk of droplets if someone coughs hard or yeah. sneezes hard. Mm -hmm. And so, again, that's the minimum recommendation. But I think if you just try to you know, do the appropriate things as much as possible, I think if you can do the six feet, you should be in good yeah. shape, especially if we're wearing masks. And especially if someone has sneezed or... Um yeah, or, or coughed, don't go into that area just for, for a little bit as well. Well, I think we're talking prolonged exposure too. Just passing someone is high, is probably not gonna get you sick. It's when you're face to face with someone or talking for a long time. So maybe if you find yourself and you're worried about it, one simple thing to do, as rude as it may be, like in an elevator or something, mm -hmm. is turn your back. Mm, okay, I like that, all right. We're going to turn our back to the people. All right, let's turn it over to Chesley.